एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम टूडे वी विल बी कवरिंग द लाइन इंटीग्रल ऑफ स्केलर वैल्यूड फंक्शन एंड वेक्टर वैल्यूड फंक्शन वेलकम टू इस चांद अकेडमी myself dr neelam for more details please refer to the book from ishan publishing details are given on this side and link is given in the description box so let us start with the line integral of scalar valued function first so line integral means we are taking integral over any curve c so now we will take the integral over a curve c so we'll start with the line integral so suppose any curve is given so any curve is given like this and let us say that the curve is c so we need to find out the integral of the of some function over this curve c so for this we need to decide that from which point suppose from this point to this point we would like to find out the integration now here also the theory is same that we need let us say that this point is p not and this point is p1 so we need to divide it into n number of parts and then we will take the integration over each part separately and then we are going to sum uh, we are going to take the sum of those parts because it is a continuous curve so it can be written as if if f is a scalar valued function scalar valued function then this integration can be written as c f ds now we cannot take dx because it is a curve so this needs to be taken as arc length now so this will be called as linear integral of scalar valued function if the uh, this f is the scalar valued function now if it is a scalar valued function then it can be given in terms of x y z or in some parametric form so how to get that in parametric form now suppose we would like to convert this into a parametric form then this curve c will be written in terms of some parameter this fx yz will be converted into this parameter and similarly this a ds also will be converted into that parameter form so in parametric form in parametric form this integration c f ds can be written as c and let us say that the parameter is t so it is ft the magnitude of the ct and dt because now the c will be written in terms of this parameter ct so this para, this fx yz will be converted into this function of t and which will be multiplied with the magnitude of the c double dash t and this is integration will be taken with respect to t so we'll make it more clear by taking one example so this is example number 1 so compute c x plus y ds over c where c is given as 3t minus 2 and t plus 1 where t is varying from 0 to 1 so here our fx y is given in terms of x plus y and here x and y they are already given in form of one parameter that is t and the value of that parameter is also given so to compute this integration so we will let us take this as x is c x plus y ds so x will be substituted as 3t minus 2 so x integrand x plus y becomes 3t minus 2 plus t plus 1 so it becomes t plus t minus 
and then this value uh, uh, limit for t has already been given as 0 to 1. So, we have written this x plus y as 3t minus 2 this that is the coordinates for x in terms of t and this is coordinates of y in terms of t. So, if we add this one this becomes 4t 4t minus 1 right. So, this becomes the integrand of our uh, integral. Now, we need to find out c dash t. So, since c t is already given to us, so c dash t can be found as 3 and 1. Now, we will find out the norm of the c dash t. So, it is under root 3 square plus 1 square and this becomes under root 10, right. So, we will substitute that in this expression. So, the integral becomes now t is given as 0 to 1 and integrand has become now 4t minus 1. So, integrand is 4t minus 1. Norm of c dash t is under root 10 and integration will be taken with respect to t. So, this can be taken as under root 10 and we will integrate this. So, 4 by 2 t square minus 1. So, it is 0 to 1. So, if we calculate this, this becomes 4 by 2 that becomes 1 and this is 1 if we substitute this, this becomes t. So, if we substitute these limits, it becomes 2 minus 1. So, it becomes under root 10. So, that is how we will evaluate the integral using parametric form. Now, here the integrand was already given in terms of parameter. Now, what happens when the integrand is not given in terms of parameter and we need to establish the parametric form. So, for that we need to take one more example that is compute c y e raised to the power x dx where c is the line segment joining two points joining two points let us say 1 1 and 4 7 1 1 and 4 7 now here the parameter is not given to us rather we need to form, we need to write down the parametric form of this one so from this from these two points we can write this as ct can be written as 1 plus 3t so uh, 1 plus t uh, 3t and 2 plus 5t where t is moving from 0 to 1 so, that is how we can write down the parametric form to evaluate the integral. Now, we need to substitute this x and y that, if, that will be given in terms of this one 1 plus 3t and 2 plus 5t and we will find out the integrand. So, y e raised to the power x will be written as for y we will write down 2 plus 5t and for e a 1 plus 3t. So, this becomes our integrand. Now, this integrand needs to be solved with respect to t and the, the values for t has been decided as 0 to 1. So, this is the form uh, when the integrand is not given in terms of parameter, but we need to write down the parametric form of that. And now, the integration is quite simple to integrate. So, this becomes 0 to 1, 2 plus 5t e raised to the power 1 plus 3t and then we need to find out mod of c dash t uh, this one. So, from this we will find out c dash t. So, it will be 3 and 5 and um, uh, norm of that will be 3 square plus under root 9 plus 25. So, that will be multiplied here. So, it is 3 square plus 5 square and this integral will be taken with respect to it has converted into a single integration that is in terms of t where the, the values for t has been taken as from 0 to 1. This integrand is written in terms of t only which is easy to integrate. This is the constant which can be taken out. Therefore, integration has become simple in form of parametric form.
So in this part of the video, we have learned how to find out the line integral of scalar valued function. So line integral of scalar valued function over any curve C has been decided as C integration over C F ds, where f is the scalar valued function. Now, since uh, s will be uh, the arc length, therefore, we the most convenient way is to convert that into a parametric form and then to evaluate the integration in that parametric form. So, uh, I think uh, now we are clear that how to write down the parametric form if it is not given clearly in the question. So we have seen this in the second question, how to form the parametric equation and from that how to, uh, you know, find out the integral and then integral uh, can be carried forward. So uh, in this video, we will be uh, concluding with the integration of the uh, line integral of the scalar valued function. Line integral of vector valued function will be discussed in the next video. For more details, please refer to the book from S. Chan Publishing. Details are given on this side and link is given in the description box. Please do like, share and subscribe the video. Press the bell icon to get notification of upcoming videos. Thank you very much. All rights resolved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.